Today in crypto, the price of Bitcoin (BTC) hurtled toward $64,000 in a fresh round of bullishness on October 25 as the market left the week weekend behind. Data from Coin Telegraph Markets Pro and Trading View confirmed solid six. 5% gains for BTC slash USD in the 24 hours leading up to 4 p.m. UTC on October 25. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Crypto lending firm BlockFi has formed a business with New York-based investment management company Newberger Berman for the development and distribution of crypto products including exchange-traded funds. In an October 25 announcement, BlockFi said the joint venture, BlockFi and B expects to launch crypto asset management products, including ETFs and other traditional structures, giving investors exposure to crypto in their brokerage accounts. According to the two firms, the partnership will combine block fees retail and institutional crypto solutions with Newberger Berman's suite of crypto strategies. Continue reading on Coin Telegraph. According to local reports from German business newspaper Handelsblatt, the German state of North Rhine-Westphalia has received a nod from Justice Minister Peter Biesenbach to begin an auction for all the Bitcoin it has confiscated. The auction will be held for a total of 215 Bitcoins, valued at about $13,6 million as of press time, on the official website of the Administration of Justice. On Monday, a total of 15 auctions commenced with lots ranging from 0,1 to 10 BTC. Meanwhile, Someone is currently offering 56,130 euros, $65,178 per BTC, roughly 2% higher than the current spot price of Bitcoin. The higher bidder will receive a paper wallet with a QR code. Thus far, authorities have not been able to explain why auction participants are placing bids above the market value. Interestingly, even though all of the seized Bitcoin were gathered from drug busts conducted by law enforcement agencies, the tokens the buyers will receive will not be tainted in any form as authorities have built new wallets for the auction. The higher bidder will receive a paper wallet with a QR code. Similarly, customs authorities in Finland announced back in July that it was ready to sell its Bitcoin fortune. Continue reading on BTC Peers. MasterCard, NYSE, MA will now directly support cryptocurrencies, paving way for banks functioning within its ecosystem to offer crypto services to almost 1 billion users and 30 million merchants. Thanks to the integration of digital assets into its products, users and customers of MasterCard will soon be able to spend, store, and use cryptocurrency for various services, including loyalty programs and rewards. The new initiative is being rolled out in partnership with assets trading platform Backed which will act as a custodian in the new system. The executive vice president of digital partnerships at MasterCard, Sherry Heyman, stated that the company is looking forward to offering its partners and clients easy exposure to crypto services. MasterCard is currently working with over 20,000 financial institutions around the globe with a total user base of 2,8 billion. The announcement is the latest in a series of institutional adoption of cryptocurrencies in recent weeks. PayPal, Nasdaq PIP, recently launched Bitcoin and cryptocurrency services in the UK, less than a year after introducing a feature that allows US residents to buy Bitcoin and other cryptos on its platform. Continue reading on BTC Peers. Volatility is a complex statistical measure commonly used by traders and investors. Those unfamiliar with it will likely attribute some sort of special standing to analysts whenever the term is used. However, as shown in a recent comment by Binance Exchange founder, Changping Zhao, most of the time people are clueless about what volatility means. This is not the first time that CZ has made an incorrect assumption on that topic. In May, CZ said that volatility was not unique to crypto, although multiple sources, including Cointelegraph, showed that excluding Tesla, Nasdaq TSLA, no S&P 500 stock matched Bitcoins, BTC 70% yearly volatility. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.